Hey, welcome back to Cover That Roof. We're in Redondo Beach, California, and we're doing a shingle repair. We had a bathroom remodel job done on this house some time ago, and when they put the new bathrooms in, they added some new pipes, which are great, but when they put the pipe flashing on, they put a flashing that had a rubber flange on, and this typically for the California weather is not a good flashing to put on because this rubber right here is gonna rot and it's gonna rip and break and crease and crack over time. So there's about five or six of these pipe flashings on the roof and we wanna get them removed. So here's the flashing that we wanna put on. This is a nice flashing, galvanized pipe flashing. So we wanna put this on, it's gonna go on right here, stick on, but first we're gonna to have to remove the shingles to get this done. So let's see how we do it. So first thing that we need to do is we're gonna to have to remove these pieces of ridge. Okay, so now we wanna take these ridge pieces off and get them peeled up. Wanna carefully remove them so we can reuse them. Okay, so now that we got the ridge pieces taken up, now we want to take up some of the actual tabs of the shingles. So I'm going to show you how we do that. Okay, so now we just want to keep continuing down.
So you can see this flashing has a rubber flange and it's just gonna rot. This right here, it's no good. This is the wrong type of flashing for this area. It might work in a different area, but for California weather and how hot it gets, this stuff is gonna bake and cook and crack and break. And that's why we wanted to put on this type of uh, counter flashing, pipe flashing. And that's why we wanted to install this type of shingle. And that's why we wanted to install this type of pipe flashing, a galvanized pipe flashing. Uh, 26 gauge. Okay, so we still got to keep going. Still got to remove a few more pieces of the shingle. So let's see how we do. Hey, welcome back to Cover That Roof. We're in Redondo Beach, California, and we're replacing a deficient pipe flashing or a rubber flange pipe flashing. That's incorrect. We're gonna go back and install a 24, a uh, 26 gauge galvanized pipe flashing, install the proper one. Now this pipe flashing may work in different states, but in California, it's not gonna work. This rubber flange over time is gonna rot and it's gonna fall apart and it's gonna cause a massive leak. Okay, so we've got that removed, we've got the shingles removed. Now we want to go back and start the process of installing the pipe flashing. So the first step that we got to do is when we pulled out the nails out of the shingles, we have a lot of nail holes in the base paper. Now, although we're going to be putting a brand new piece of base paper down, we want to go back and put the nail back into the same nail hole of all the holes that are in the base paper right now just to do our proper due diligence to make sure that we get that tank care of. And then when we're done, we're gonna come back and cut the base paper in to fit the shape and then come back and put the pipe flashing in. So let's see how it's done. Okay, now that we got all the nails put back in the hole, we wanna come back with the base paper and fill in this area over here just to make sure that we got it waterproof. So we're gonna catch up to you in a bit when we get the paper cut the size and then we'll catch up to you when we get it all ready to install. See you in a bit. Hey, welcome back. Okay, so now that we got our base paper basically cut for the width that we want, now we want to come back and cut the paper in so it fits around the different shapes that we had to take out the shingles. We just wanted to fit the pattern so it fits in and make sure everything's waterproof. So this is how we do it. So we're using a roofer's utility knife, and this is a piece of uh, TU-35 modified base paper. <clears throat> okay, so now that we got the base paper all cut in, now we want to take the pipe flashing, stick it on, get it pinned in, and then Okay, so now that we got the pipe flashing all nailed in, now we want to put a piece of peel and stick behind the back. Now you could go back with the same type of base paper, put it on there, but we're going to use a piece of a bitch tame peel and stick, piece of paper, rubber base, sticky paper to put behind the pipe flashing to make sure that we know nothing's going to leak in that area. So let's get the piece in, cut it in, and then we'll get back to you in a bit. Hey, welcome back to Cover That Roof. Okay, so now we're at the point right now where we need to install the asphalt shingle or put it back in the place around the pipe flashing. Now we got two different ways that we can cut the asphalt shingle. We can use a utility knife, which works great when it's really hot, or we can use a pair of snips that we can use too when it's cold and it cuts through the material really easily and you can have your straight cut. So right now we're gonna use these little snips to cut the roofing material to make it a little bit easier. So we already got it kind of in a spot 
got it pre-cut. So let's see how it looks and how easy it is to get it cut into place. Okay, so as you can see, we already kind of made the pre-cut. It kind of slides down perfectly right in place. It just wraps around. Now there's a couple different ways to do this. You can cut the flashing so it sits perfectly <clears throat> around and wraps around, or you can cut off this little tab right here so the water is able to drain and doesn't get trapped. So we're going to make the cut <clears throat> on this piece and have it go straight up. So this is what the piece looks like when we make the cut. As you can see on the shingle, there's a white line right here. So you always want to make sure that you don't nail below the line. And then you have a little path right here. And you always want to make sure that you're not nailing up in this area. You typically want to nail right above that white line because that's where it's the thickest and that's where it's going to catch the best. Okay, so now that we got this pinned in, we're going to start laying in our shingles and fitting them in where we had them removed previously and we're going to put them all in the place. some of these little strips of this peel and stick and we're putting them on the back side where the nail holes were on the other side even though we filled in the nail back in the nail hole we still want to take this as a precautionary extra step to make sure that the roof is waterproof in this area Start putting in the ridge pieces. Hey, welcome back to Cover That Roof with tips and tricks of the trade. Okay, so now that we got our flashing all cut in, now we just want to pick up a little bit so we don't have a bunch of trash and debris in our way and get everything all picked up before we start putting the ridge line on. So always remember, keep your job site clean, keep your repair area clean, make it a lot easier when you go back to do whatever you're doing. So pick up all your trash as you go. Okay, so that came out pretty nice. Got everything put back in the shape. So let's take a look and see how we did it. Move. Put a brand new one in. Came out pretty, pretty nice. Okay, so now we got another pipe flashing to do over here. So we want to do the same process, get it taken out, and we'll catch up to you in a bit when we get it all ripped out. 